Hey everyone, you know, YouTube, Anime Vice, you know, internet users alike and everything. Welcome to another episode of Dunce Cap. This time I'm back on topic, and today is very special. It's cap uh, starting off what uh, I hope to be uh, one of many uh, to follow and everything. I'm, I'm bringing in my first ever uh, guest host. Uh, she is with me uh, via audio, uh, or yeah, audio chat on Skype, and that is Super Evil Two Twenty Five. You know, fellow Anime Vice user. So uh, say hello. Hi guys, how's it going? So Ooh. Super Evil, you've been uh, like really active recently and everything. So tell us what you've been up to. Um. Well, I've been doing a lot of uh, sort of one episode reviews and stuff like that. Um, and I've been slowly edging into live action Japanese drama TV shows and stuff. And blogging about that. Yeah, that's cool. Like I say, I've, I've been uh, keeping up on everything, trying to comment where I see fit, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. So, all right. Well, uh, guys or, and girls and everything, uh, today she is going to help me with um, Funimation's uh, DVD box set release of Black Lagoon, which I have here. And it's the two season box set. So, it's the first season of Black Lagoon and then the second season, Black or uh, second barrage. <laughs> anyway, so um, we'll get right on that and everything. Uh, the first topic is dub versus sub. Um, so, Brevo, what, what do you got to say on that? Um, I actually really like the dub. I thought it was really good. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. Um, Funimation usually actually does pretty good dubs, um, and it kind of made more sense with the dub because, I don't know, it's more an international series rather than just like in Japan or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the subs are always generally better, um, just because the voice actors are trained in that way. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to agree. Uh, re um, my only experience actually with the sub of, of the series is with the five episode OVA Roberta's Blood Trail. And so, mm -hmm. um, I've only been keeping with the dub and I absolutely love the dub, and that's part of the reason why I did the Beginner's Guide. And, I mean, a number of comments on there were how they love the dub. And I, I think it, I would have to agree with them. This is one of Funny's best dubs, and it, I, it just works out really well. Yeah. It, it also kind of reminds me of the one scene where Revy starts speaking in English in the <laughs> Japanese version. And it's really difficult to understand what she's saying. And so that kind of got on my nerves. I really dislike it when in Japanese anime they start speaking English and they just can't pronounce it. So Maybe that's the other step. They pull it off better in the dub. Maybe that's another step that they need to do is make sure the voice actors, you know, took a bit more English in school. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, all right, all right. Now, next up, we got uh, animation and everything. I'll go ahead and uh, take the first jab at this and say that um, uh, I really enjoy like the animation. It really works for the series. I mean, obviously, it's got a lot of dark tones and everything like that. But like, it really seems to uh, I mean pull everything out with the explosions and uh, you know with just the different looks on the characters. And they definitely you know spruced it up a good bit when they finally got to Roberta's blood trail and everything but for when this series was done I really thought it, w it was done pretty well and like you know just keeping with uh, you know with ha how the manga looks and just you know just overall just br really bringing this series to life yeah yeah I agree um, I you brought up a good point with like the explosions and stuff it kind of reminds me of those old 80s animes where all the explosions were like pink or something, like in Gundam, and I kind of it, it seemed a lot more realistic with um, in that regard. Um, as well, the action scenes were like really over the top um, and just really great um, sort of fight choreography. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I liked it. It was good. Yeah, with Revy's sort of acrobatic bits, and then you got uh, uh, the, mm -hmm. the chick with the machetes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I always forget, like, everyone else's name. It's bad. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the animation is pretty good and everything, and it really keeps up, like, say, yeah, just to totally brings it to life. So it's mm -hmm. it's definitely, you know, something to watch, you know, in case of just for that. It's, it's nothing 
you know, new or groundbreaking or anything like that when it came out. But it's 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 there where it, it works and it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's not super cheap and it's not ridiculously over the top. It's good. Yeah. And there's no, like, fluctuation with it, too. Like, you know, as if there was, like, you know, a uh, budget, you know, different budget for each episode and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Very consistent, yeah. Yes, indeed. So, uh... All right, now we'll go on to, like, the story and everything. Um, the story basically takes place uh, in Rwanapur and the South China Sea and everything. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, basically, it's just, uh, you got Lagoon Company, um, where uh, it was just, you know, uh, just a, two guys and a girl, Dutch, Revy, and uh, Benny. But then you get Rock, Japanese businessman, coming in there after a kidnapping and some adventures and everything. And so the story basically follows this crew um, kind of on their own little adventures, just doing odd jobs that they're given in order to, you know, kind of make their lives go by and everything since the money makes the world go round. Yeah, <laughs> blowing stuff up. Yep, All yep. Good. Stuff. good. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, what do you got uh, to uh, sort of elaborate on the story? Um, well, I found that the story was very American. I find that a lot of um, Black Lagoon is um, almost American influence because um, it just seems like something, like, it seems like the plot of a movie that um, America would make. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, Wanted um, and that sort of stuff where um, explosions, gunfights, girls half naked um it just it's it sounds very american but then um in execution it's um it's kind of a nice multicultural blend i like it yeah 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 definitely i mean of course if you, yeah i mean just with how everything and uh, like and of course with you know with kind of the the setting and everything like that like it's, it's kind of set in like the i think early 90s and everything mm-hmm. <clears throat> so um uh, basically, you know, it. Uh, I think that that's kind of heavily where, why it is, why it does look like you know a, a action-packed adventure '80s movie and everything. And so that that's why it's it's really I think easily you know, uh, an, an, an kind of an introduction anime, if you will, for kind of, you know for people in the U.S. since it it does seem so Americanized. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's not super culture shock sort of thing. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. But while you still have, you know, your anime tropes in there, which is always good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. right. So uh, next one, we'll move on to characters and everything like that. Um, we got Rock, who was, uh, of course, the like I said, the Japanese businessman who was kidnapped by a lagoon company. And then after uh, a crazy plan to shoot a helicopter out of the sky with a torpedo <laughs> boat, as I had, you know, recently talked about in my Epic Moments of Anime article. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you know, he's uh, he, he's a cool guy. I mean, he, he's he's the thinker, you know, kind of of the group. I mean, yeah, you have Dutch, who's, you know, the African-American, you know, mysterious leader, really. You know, you mm-hmm. have no background on the guy. So he's a mysterious leader, and he's, like, the leader sort of brains. But Rock just has these ideas, and he's to elaborate, and... You really don't see too much of that through the series from him, except for, like, during the, uh, uh, their dealings with the church, and, mm-hmm. um, re- definitely during Roberta's blood trail. Yeah, and yeah. And so, uh, kind of, that's with him, and then you got, uh, Benny, who was a college student in Florida, uh, he pissed off the mafia and the FBI at the same time, they were both coming after him, so, uh. Yeah, good old two hands Revy came in and saved his ass. So uh, yeah, <laughs> and so that's kind of uh, that's kind of you know those three characters. And I know it probably seemed obvious or whatever, but I figured I'd go ahead and leave Revy to you. All right. Um, yeah, I I think that Revy is one of my favorite characters in this series. Um, I mean, she's just so vulgar and violent. You can't help but love her. Um, and, um, I don't know, she's, uh, I've just always kind of, um, liked the strong female, um, type, and, uh, she's just a super cool character, um, I always wished I could shoot awesome guns like her and do, like, backflips and stuff, so, I admire Revy. (laughs) 
Well, getting that th thousand mile stare and listening to music. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cigarette kiss, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I definitely enjoy Revy too because she, she brings a really nice aspect to it, and a lot of the comedy comes from obviously her and Rock's interactions and everything. And so, uh, mm -hmm. that's one thing I definitely liked was uh, the surprising amount of things I found funny in in this show, despite its seriousness. Yeah, yeah, and Revy and Rock just have like such chemistry and stuff. It's they're a really good um, duo to have um, in the anime. Um, and it's just sort of funny how usually you would think um, uh, it would be the guy sort of um, taking the lead and being, I don't know, wearing the pants, um, <laughs> essentially. But um, it, it's just kind of an interesting dynamic that the two have. So, yeah, I, I love them. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, of course, uh, to kind of just give a couple more characters, I won't go into detail like you know, like in the Beginner's Guide. I'll go ahead and link that in the article. Um, uh, we got Bella Laika who is the leader of uh, Hotel Moscow in Rwandapur, uh, for, oh, yeah. former, uh, you know, Soviet commander or captain or whatever, and she's got, you know, her uber-trained uh, soldiers that go ahead and stay with her and everything. And they, they pretty much rule Rwandapur and she, with an iron fist, literally, and, yeah. uh, and everything. And so... Uh, I don't know. She she's a really big badass and a, a really neat foil to Revy. Yeah, yeah, I love her. She's cool. Um, I I kind of it's interesting um, how they added her as a character because um, when I first I couldn't first figure out what her actual role was, but then sort of as the series progressed, um, she she became actually a pretty large part, but she was more in the background, which was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I kind of like the whole, from the shadows, she'll beat your ass seven ways sort of thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it, she's in the same boat as uh, Mr. Chang. You know, they, those two primarily control the city, but they, you know, they prefer to uh, kind of like have others still sort of do the dirty work unless things get out of hand. So yeah. That's just kind of how it, it, they make it easier for them to keep it in control. Mm-hmm. And... You know, for those of you who don't quite know, Mr. Chang is uh, the leader of the uh, Chinese triad uh, who, you know, is in the city and everything. And he uh, he's basically a two-hands mentor and everything. So he, he's, he's a pretty slick character as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, uh, all right, we'll uh, move on to uh, our final topic, uh, the anime versus manga. Um, as... Many of you know I've been buying a lot of manga recently and everything, and I've already reviewed volumes one and two here uh, for in Dunce Cap and everything. But I do have here volumes four through eight. I'm missing volume three. Um, I haven't read these yet. As you can see, they're still wrapped and everything. But uh, I'll get to those eventually and everything. But from what I, what I have read of the manga. Um, the, the story, uh, has only, like, small differences I've seen so far, actually, and, like, uh, as far as, like, the comparison with the, with the illustration, the illustration, uh, obviously the anime brings it to life better, and it seems like the characters are a bit more detailed, but, like, um, I don't know, I, I think the, uh, the manga has a, uh, an odd kind of more grittiness to it and everything, and so it's, like, hmm... I don't know. It just seems like there's just something a little more there in the manga, you know. Even though it's a Viz production, and some users are very against Viz product or publishings, fuck <coughs> 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 um, and everything. But I, I feel like you know, it, it it's really there's not much uh, like a super big difference between uh, the storyline and everything like that. And I was actually surprised that uh, the manga actually has nudity in it, uh, while the series does not until the Roberta's blood trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I always find that it's harder to read an action, like a super action series like um, Black Lagoon in manga format um, mm -hmm. because the, the thing about the animation is that it really does, as you said, um, bring it to life. And you've got 
um, obviously much um, more clear um, action sequences while um, manga is just in a panel. Um, mm -hmm. But um, I do find that the whole, the black and white um, part of manga does make it seem a little bit, um, as you said, more gritty. And um, I find that um, a lot uh, a lot of the illustrations in manga, they're able to um, uh, sort of do their own thing with it, and they're not restricted to um, what the animators um, want and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so, and like what they can air on TV and that sort of thing. Um, and so I guess it's sort of, it depends on what you really like um, um, for the anime and the manga. Personally, um, I prefer um, the anime to the manga, um, but yet again, everyone has their own opinion. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Um, how much of the manga have, have you read? Um, I've read a bit online um, uh, because I, can, I can't actually get it in stores because those comic book people watch me like a hawk. And they're like, I see you're underage. I'm not going to let you buy that 18 plus manga. And I, I got to sort of... Um, but yet I, you can go to the store and buy, buy the box set, though. Yeah, yeah, I can go to the store and buy the box set. They're not going to let me go and buy the actual manga. Um, oh, boy. Yeah. But um, sometimes I'm able to, like sneak an 18 plus manga that they don't really know but uh black lagoon is stationed right in front of the um till so i think they they know my face now and they know i'm trying to get it but they won't let me that's why you need to pull an anime stunt and wear a disguise yes i'll come in cosplay next time <laughs> i'll get in my revy cosplay my non-existent revy cosplay i could do it i could do it yeah I thumbs have, up i have the short shorts and the tank top, and <laughs> I, I could find some guns somewhere. And get the get the tattoo drawn. Yeah, I'll get the tattoo drawn on. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then they'll tell me, um, you can't buy this, and I'm like, but I'm the star of this manga. <laughs> you <can't deny> me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get a kick out of this when you see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, well, all right. Um, we're definitely starting to run a little longer than I hoped and everything. So um, <laughs> um, it, it's been all good and everything, though. Good fun, good fun. So um, kind of final thoughts, uh, Super Evil. Uh, what, what do you kind of got to sum up the, the series? You know, have you seen, like, Roberta's uh, Blood Trail and everything? And It's fucking awesome. Fuck um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all I can really say about the series. It's just so good. Um, and it's, I think it's got something for everybody to enjoy. So mm -hmm. like, oh, but I don't really like violence. And then you watch, um, Black Lagoon and you're going to be obsessed with violence. <laughs> yeah. I think we're talking to you, zombie pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I totally have to agree and everything. Uh, you know, it's just, it's it's action-packed. Like I say, it, it plays out so much like a movie already, and so it's it's easy to get into. I mean, I mean the plot isn't difficult, but it's it's got nice plot there and some, you know, bits of character, you know, development and everything that you see as the series goes. And, of course, you know, you got Roberta's Blood Trail as a five-episode OVA that uh, kind of brings uh, things to even more of a head and everything. Um, I haven't read, obviously, that far in the manga. I have watched the OVAs. So I can't wait for them to come uh, stateside with Funny and everything. But uh, uh, on top of that, though, the manga is on hiatus and everything. And so uh, apparently no word has been uh, said yet from uh, Ray Hero. Yeah. Yep, I said the name right. Um, uh, fr from him uh, saying when uh, things are going to pick back up and everything. And so I really hope things do here sometime soon. And, uh, you know... Hopefully we actually get some solid evidence that Revy and Rocky are doing the nasty. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I also just love the villains. They have such interesting um, villains in the series and just such a wide range of uh, everything, really. So like it's the snuff definitely twins? something to um, check out if you haven't already. Yeah, definitely, and because um, I mean, I've I've definitely done so before. I don't know. Uh, I'll go ahead and link it uh, in the art in this article or in this blog as well, and everything. Um, I did a uh, 
uh, a blog on a non-anime watcher's uh, experiences with the first disc, which is the first four episodes of Black Lagoon. I, I did it back in college with a roommate, and uh, got we drunkenly uh, watched the the first episode and everything. And so uh, I'll go ahead and post that too, so that way you guys kind of get an idea of uh, you know a non-anime animator ah non-anime watcher's thoughts on uh, you know an anime and everything. So. Uh, Yep, to finish this up, uh, since we're past the 20-minute limit, or the 20-minute mark, <laughs> um, uh, 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 I guess you want to finish it up, uh, Super Evil? Can I... Um, yeah, well, I guess this sort of concludes our discussion on blood, guts, gore, and women in bikinis and underpants, <laughs> um, and <laughs> I hope that everyone enjoyed listening to my voice, um, and, uh, yeah, check out the series. Go yep. do it. You'll be amazed if you haven't already. And if you're a fan of the series, um, well, I guess you had fun listening to this then. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I say, you know, because uh, uh, if you don't do what Super Evil said, then uh, Revy's going to come to your house and point yep. a gun at your face and call you a pussy. So uh, <laughs> uh, with that, you know, that's been uh, our, uh, Super Evil and I's review, Dunce Cap review for... Uh, you know, the Black Lagoon series and everything. So, uh, I'm Saudi Fan 16 and, uh, you know, you've gotten super evil here. So, uh, Woo. goodbye for now. Peace. Yeah.